right, we're back. Welcome to Game Trade Media's live from Valleys in New uh, where I was about to say New York City. <laughs> New York City! No, we're in Las Vegas. I've said it a thousand times. Josh has made comment on that. Uh, but we're here for Gamma Trade Show, where we're getting, getting eyes on all these new games coming out. And we have Cassidy from Cheap Ass Games. Hi. Are we allowed to say cheap ass and ass? All right, cheap ass games. It's cheap ass games, not cheap ass games. That's a different kind of game that we don't make. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> And you brought TAC. TAC, yes. Please tell me about this game. So this was a game mentioned by Patrick Rothfuss in the second book of the Kingkiller Chronicle, The Wise Man's Fear. Um, he talks about it, the main character plays it a lot, but he doesn't actually give rules because Patrick Rothfuss is a smart man. Mm. So my boss, James Ernest, read about it, he was intrigued, he decided that he wanted to make tech, and he harassed Patrick Rothfuss for a year and a half until Pat would agree to let him show the prototype. Nice. Yes. And um, after that, Patrick was so annoyed because he hates being wrong. It's like, right. elegant, it's beautiful, it's everything I wanted, mm -hmm. and so here we are. All right. So one of the things I saw when I first saw it at uh, Toy Fair, you had this on display there. Mm. I was like, oh, neat. Um, this looks like one of those games that big brain people, or, or uh, we really hope it wins a Mensa, a Mensa Award because be this cool. is this is a, a very intellectual game. Mm -hmm. So based on that, I hope I do okay in this learning process. But please show me and show us all a little bit of how this plays. I do not have a big brain, so I think you'll be fine. <laughs> I have faith in you. So in TAC, the goal is to make a row of pieces connecting two opposite sides of the board. You okay. can make these two sides or those two sides. Diagonals don't exist in TAC, so this okay. is a win. That is not, but this is a game. It doesn't have to be a straight line. Okay. okay. On your turn, you can either introduce a new piece to the board or move pieces that are already on the board. Your opponents or your own? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, sort of, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> When you put a piece on the board, you can introduce it flat like this, which is part of your road, but can be stacked on by other pieces. So if that were here, it can move there. Or you can put up a wall. Walls can't be stacked on, but they don't count as part of your road, so this is no longer a win for brown. Okay. Okay. You also have a capstone. Capstones are special pieces. They do count as part of your road. They can't be stacked on, and they can also flatten walls. Nice. Like so. And is that a permanent piece once it's a capstone? Because when I hear capstone, I think that's the end all be all of that spot. Um, you can still move this around like okay. a regular piece. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, so let's say the board is filling up with pieces and you want to start stacking. This is a single move, this is a single move, this is a single move, so on and so forth. Okay. Okay. There's no limit to how high the stack can go, but there's a carry limit based on the board size. Right. We're playing a 5x5 five five game, you can only pick up the first five pieces. All right. We have five pieces here, so we'd be good to go. Okay. When you move a stack, whoever's on top of it controls it. You don't have to leave anything in the first square, you have to leave at least one in each subsequent square. So okay. if I were brown, I might do something like this and stretch out my control over nice. multiple Which stacks. Which gives you a three yeah. closer to the a win condition. Yes. Okay. Um, walls can be moved on top of stacks, like a regular piece. Okay. Capstones, when they're flattening walls, can't bring a friend. Okay. Do it by themselves. I promise it's easier to play than it is to explain. Okay, well let, let, let us do this. Yeah, so we start by playing one of our opponent's pieces. All right. Okay. So Wait please. a minute. Wait a minute. We play one of our, so I'm playing one of yours. Yes, just for the first turn. Okay. There's a first player <clears throat> advantage built into the game, so this mitigates that. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I'm now placing my own. Yep. <clears throat> so I see that while we're trying to find our way to, I didn't like that at all, <laughs> to our win conditions, uh, this could be played very fast, I'm guessing. It could be. There's a U.S. Tax Association. Already? Yes. Good Before Lord. Before we even released it. Um, and they have, I think they're working on speed tech rules. I might be wrong. Okay. Oh, that's my stack, so you can't do that. But oh. you could do this. And then it becomes my stack. Yes. I see. And I don't like that at all. So yeah, that's what, okay. <laughs> all right, perfect. That would be my move, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. We had a year zero tournament at Gen Con just to test out the tournament rules. Right. And Wormwood Gaming made this really beautiful tech set. 
um, of ebony and king wood. Oh, wow. It was gorgeous. But the finalists were shaking so badly they couldn't move their own stacks. So we have to have tournament rules for other people moving stacks for you now. Oh, wow. Just because it's the excitement? Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was a really pretty set. If they'd sold it, it would have retailed like 700 or something right? like that. So. Wow. But Wormwood so, does make a great products. So. They do. It's so pretty. <laughs> hmm. So you have to always play into an empty spot first. Empty spot first. Well, spot there first. we have it. Yeah. And I know. There's always one rule that I forget. Uh, there we go. Right. There was um, somebody in the chat room that said they've always wanted to let somebody play it. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice. Well, this is the horrible example. I'm sorry, person in the chat room. All you right. So ahead. now this, now I understand the reason for the capstone. Yeah. Because I cannot step and thus take control, and then this would be, that would have been a win condition for me. Right. And I cannot move it because you control the top. Right. Stack. Basically, I was a jerk. Yeah. Yeah. That was the meanest. <laughs> I thought we were friends. I thought this was. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also a website, a fan created website, playtac.com. Okay. That's where a lot of the top rated players from the U.S. Tac Association play. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> this makes for a very satisfying board flip, too. Oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that move, because you took two, one has to drop into subs subsequent one behind it, right? Mm -hmm. Is what you mentioned before. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. James likes to tell a story about playtac.com when he first. Um, discovered it, he logged in as cheap ass James. Right. And people were like, is it really you? And then suddenly it was like, Morpheus is fighting me, or when everybody <laughs> swarmed in. <laughs> and because James plays a lot of first player games like I do, mm -hmm. he he's a good tech player. He can't compete with the top rated players in the U.S. Tech Association. Those uh. people are insane. Um, but someone told him, it's like you're not used to playing against people who are trying to win. Hmm. <laughs> See how I feel about that? He's throwing my pieces already. All right. <clears throat> so I can take one and drop it right off of it. Off of I just, if Absolutely. I took two, I have to do that. Uh, we call this the Hoover Maneuver. The what? The Hoover Maneuver. All of your pieces are mine now. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not one bit. <clears throat> Always into an empty spot first. Always to an empty spot first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's the hardest part about that. <laughs> all right. You've had me on the run all day. I'm going to try to do a thing. Uh-oh. Try to do a thing. So there is a rule. If you're playing courtly tack or street tack, if you're playing right. courtly tack, you would say tack to indicate that you're about to win, like you would say check and chess. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, that rule fills me with unexplainable, intense rage. So I don't play that way. So I already see the, the win condition here for you, the court attack. Right. So you might want to do not yeah, that. Yeah, not that. Yeah. We are not doing that. <laughs> All right. So if the board fills up with pieces mm -hmm. and there's no road, or if one of us runs out of pieces as you're about to. As I am about to. Mm -hmm. The person with the most flat stones showing wins. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the rules for TAC are available for free on our website, cheapass.com. Um, this set retails for 55 at 60 wooden pieces. It's all made in the U.S. All right. And um, when, when is, is it currently available? People can now purchase yes, this. Yes. So if you guys out there are watching this and are enjoying watching this, um, which this is a lot of fun. Thank you. And you're right. Once you play it, 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 it doesn't. It's not as overwhelming yes. as it is visually overwhelming so yes. for someone that you know has never played it before. So uh, it is a lot of fun. I can see that I am on the verge of uh, running out of my tokens here. You might want so. to do not that. Again, you're back at that p position again. Yeah. Look at that. She's even helping me. I'm just, you know, playing through here. That's also the worst. 
<laughs> All right, so I see what you're saying. Yes, one, yeah. uh, one of those. Okay. Yeah. This is the point where I start trying to figure out what I've just done to myself. Right. I, she's, <laughs> she's playing my pieces because I, uh, you know, first time player, long time fan. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> No, sir. No? No, sir. No, sir. What am I missing here? Okay. Right. We have made a mess of this tack board. The worst. The worst. <laughs> So I am about to run out. I am okay. out. Okay, so now we've got the flat stones. I have one, two, three, four. And do you have more than that? Do you so, win? So I'm the winner. Yes. Mensa. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Mensa. <laughs> Take that, science. All right, very cool. Thank you, Cassidy, for showing us this game. Thanks, it is me. beautiful. There are a lot of other great games from Cheap Ass Games, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we have Kill Dr. Lucky and... Uh, Kill Dr. Lucky, Pears. Pears. Um, Brawl. Brawl. All right. Fish Cook, Veritas, Captain Treasure Boots. And you can find a lot of the rules for our games for free on our website. Perfect. Mm -hmm. so. so if you guys want to check those out, find one that you like, go to your local game store, pick it up off the shelf, grab Tack, uh, obviously, and... We will be right back. I'm Rick with Game Trade Media. We're at Gamma. Cassidy, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Oh, I get the hugs. Yay. <laughs> and thank Seriously. you for showing us the, the what you call a rabbit, but not a rabbit. It's totally a rabbit. It's not. It's a Pokemon. She has a live <laughs> Pokemon. It's amazing. We'll see you guys real soon. Stay tuned.